Cinnamon began her seemingly ordinary day, foraging for food and reflecting on her home. She had decided that her home had become commonplace. Nothing special, nothing she considered warm and inviting. Just the same old view with the same old shelter filled with the same old bedding and same old water bottle. She dreamed of being somewhere else, anywhere, but among our all too familiar and uninspired surroundings. Suddenly, a blinding light, and in an instant she was transported to a cold and strange room. A chill ran down her spine as she realized there was no escape. She was surrounded by colorful yet featureless walls that were impossible to climb and far too heavy to move. She desperately stared at the imprisoning walls, losing all sense of time and self. She simply had no choice but to wait for the slow, bitter end. Yeah, that wall was actually pretty light. Free from her eternal prison, she now had to embark on a perilous journey to get home. Wandering aimlessly, the days blurred into weeks and weeks into months. Yeah, actually it's been about two minutes. She finally came upon a formidable mountain range. As far as her eyes could see, there was nothing but treacherous rocks and jagged peaks. She now realized that her journey was over and that her last remaining minutes on earth would be at the base of an impassable and unforgiving mountain. Yeah, you know I could just go underneath it. Cinnamon continued her journey, roving blindly across a desolate wasteland, when she abruptly halted at the precipice of a sprawling chasm. Rivers of sweat ran down her furrowed brow. Uh, rats don't sweat. She peered down into the black bottomless abyss and stared with resignation at the ominous span stretching over 60 feet. Yeah, it was more like two feet. Exhausted, she knew she had just one more obstacle to overcome, but that obstacle was the most harrowing and daunting barrier of all. Cinnamon had to climb the most hideous and foul-smelling creature that had ever slithered out from the bubbling primordial slime. That's my owner. And she has feelings. The unsightly beast took pity on Cinnamon and ascended the wooden cliffs of doom. The creature gently returned Cinnamon home. Cinnamon loved her beautiful view. With her welcoming shelter filled with warm and soft bedding, she quickly fell asleep and dreamed of being nowhere else but home. Home, where my thoughts escape, and home, where my music.